Hi and welcome everybody to my latest LEGO Technic creation, the automatically reversing gearbox. Now this idea was given to me by one of my subscribers uh, known as Noshi the Cat. So thanks Noshi, I really appreciate your input and I think this one turned out really well. So the idea of this gearbox is that if there's too much load on the output it will automatically reverse and go in the other direction. Uh, this could be useful for example for a car if it hits a barrier it could automatically reverse and go backwards and avoid that barrier and go in the other direction. So probably the best way to explain it is with a uh, demonstration, so I'll just turn it on. Uh, so we can see over here we've got the output. Um, now if we put some loading on that output like this, you can see it automatically turns around. Put some more loading, it goes back in another direction. We could uh, hold it down as well, and we'll just keep switching back and forth. So in order to design this gearbox, I realised I needed uh, three main parts. Uh, the first part is a mechanism for reacting to the output torque. Uh, the other part is a two-state switching mechanism to switch between the forward and the reverse states. And finally, uh, some sort of gearbox that would switch the output direction from forward to reverse depending on that state. So one way for creating a mechanism that reacts to the uh, torque and the output is to use a differential like this in the middle. Um, and the way this works is we've got our motor here, we've got our output and if we turn it on it pretty much goes straight from the input to the output. Uh, the centre of the differential is held still by this small gear here which has got a friction pin on it. But as soon as we put some load on the output we can see that this, uh, the differential starts turning. So it reacts to the load on the output. So without any load, it's uh, pretty much the entire output's going to this axle. But as soon as you put some load on it, uh, the, the differential starts turning. And what that means is we can use that to react to the output load and use that turning to switch the gearbox. Now to create the uh, two-state switching mechanism, I played around with a few different prototypes. And in fact, this was the uh, first design I came up with. Uh, this kind of is a mechanism that allows me to switch between two different states, uh, left and right. Um, the problem with this design was it's, uh, well, first of all, it's rather large, and secondly, it doesn't uh, really allow for any rotation. So I came up with a second prototype, which was kind of based on the same idea. But uh, now instead I've got this axle at the bottom that allows that rotation. So we're going between two different states. Um, and then I refine this design to give us the simplest design which is a simply uh, this construction here and we can just switch between the two states. Uh, so this is what's used in the uh, reverse and gearbox to switch between the two different states forward and reverse. And the final part of the gearbox is the gearing that switches between the forward and the uh, reverse directions and the way I've done that is using a combination of a uh, rotary switch and a differential. So the rotary switch which is between two different um, gears and these gears feed into this differential over here and the mechanism I've done that or the method I've used to get the reversing with the differential if you remember the uh, differential equation uh, what we have is that A plus B over 2 is equal to C, so where C is that center part of the differential and A and B are the two inputs. And what I realized, if I rearrange this equation, we can write, for example, that A equals 2C minus B. And then if I set C to a value of 1 and B to a value of 1, then the output A is given by 2 times 1 minus 1, which is 1. And if I use C as 1 and B is equal to 3, then we find that it's 2 times 1 minus 3 gives us minus 1. So that gives us exactly the forward and reverse speeds that we're after. Alright, so that was the automatically reversing gearbox. I hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it. Uh, if you'd like to support this channel, please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.